Hello, this is Mike Lively, and this is Professional Paper Vision, and today we're looking at the big three. Specifically, we're going to finish up our matrix 3D work and finish up our work with the camera application we were about to show you last time. Now, in 3D graphics, there are three basic transformations, and those are translation, rotation, and scaling. And all of that is contained in the matrix 3D element. So for completeness purposes, I'm going to show you a little bit of matrix algebra. This paper was written by Mike Ducker back in 2000, and it covers the basics of a 4x4 matrix, so much like the matrix 3D that we're using in Flash. But the good news is, is you don't need to understand or know how to do this uh, matrix algebra. Uh, it's all done through methods that you'll use in the matrix 3D class, and they're very easy to use. But let's go through it so you can understand it. And if you want to learn more, you can refer back to this paper by Mike Tucker. You can just download it off the web. Let's go through it. Well, here's these matrices, and they're basically just rows and columns, so we can move on from that. He shows you how to add and subtract matrices, how to multiply basic matrices. And here's one of the basic forms that you typically use in computer graphics. We have an X, Y, Z, and W. Now you're probably used to X, Y, and Z, kind of a 3x3 three three matrix where you're working with X, Y, and Z transformations in basic math class. But it turns out in computer graphics, in order to get translation, we add, had to add another column to our matrices. And so this is where this came in. And we did that, we had to add another variable, W. And so in order to make translation work, uh, you suddenly transform a 3x3, three three, which we're used to doing scaling with and rotation with, into a 4x4 four four to add translation. Now, as we mentioned earlier, there's three primary important matrix operations in 3D graphics. There's translation, rotation, and scaling. Here's an example actually multiplying what's basically an old uh, vector, x, y, z, and w, and getting a new vector, x, y, z, and w. And here's the multiplication uh, algorithm. Now, you're going to see a lot of this is hard coded in computer programs, especially uh, in paper vision, but in Flash 10, it's all actually inside the Flash player 10, you don't actually see the multiplication itself. And that gra that multiplication is done for you automatically. Let's go on. And it shows you how to do matrix multiplication. We're not going to worry about that too much. Once again, people just grab this code and they hard code it into their applications as was done in paper vision. Here's our first uh, matrix of interest, and that's the identity matrix. And that's all ones on the diagonal. Let's go on. Now we see our translation matrix. And basically, that's the X translation, Y translation, and Z translation. That's that column right there, and that's where you get your translation. Your scaling, as mentioned before, is diagonal. So when you change these different terms, you will scale more on X, more on Y, and more on Z, or less, depending on what you have that number to be, uh, greater than or less than 1. And finally, very important, is you have your rotation. So you have three sets of rotational uh, variables. You have an X rotation around the x-axis, a y rotation around the y-axis, and a z rotation around the z-axis. And you may be familiar with these uh, from previous courses. I actually show this in my book on uh, chapter 1. And if you go down here below the big three, we talk about translation, rotation, and scaling. So I actually show you the rotational algorithms in the book here, but I don't show them in matrix form. But once again, it's multiplying that old uh, vector times and getting a new one. And so all that is done, these equations derived using uh, the uh, matrix 3D algorithm. And from that you get a rotation around X, Y, and Z. And that's pretty much all there is to basically uh, matrix multiplication. The important thing is, though, however, I want you to realize is that all these matrices fit together. So you don't just have a single rotation or a single translation or a single scaling. You can have them all at once. And that specifically is what we're seeing inside of paper vision as they multiply all this out. Let's take a look at that real quick. So in the last video, we kind of dropped you off here, and we asked the question, what is SZ? Because we see it's in our perspective scaling equation here. You've got FC uh, divided by focus plus SC. So we wanted to find out what is that SC variable. So we went back into the code, and we saw this horrendous uh, line of code here. SC equals VX times M31 plus VY times M32 uh, plus VZ times M33 plus V, 
view dot n three four and if you look at this now it should make sense to you that this is actually a line of matrix multiplication and it's the z line of matrix multiplication so really all that s of z is is that matrix multiplication that gives you in a sense that final z as your camera moves through your objects or as your objects move toward your camera is really what's happening so it's all done through basically display object matrix 3d multiplication and uh... it's this z that is that line of matrix algebra that's derived from the equations that we showed earlier hey i know that's kind of complicated go back and review this but once again this is not going to be important for you to know unless you are a, an avid mathematician and you're going to start hard coding all this yourself. This is now inherent in the Flash 10 player and let's take a look at some of those methods. So we're back at the Adobe Help document I had you download earlier on Matrix 3D. Go ahead and put this in if you didn't do it before. And it has everything about Matrix 3D that you want to know and we looked at the matrix here before. And we've showed you now the translation and the scale and also the rotation variables that go in there. And we also made mention that you can do more than once. You can do many. We've talked about the big three. And I'm going to take a look at some of the methods that are available. You've got determinant, position, raw data, matrix 3D, append, uh, append rotation, append scales, append tr uh, translation. So there's the big three, translation, rotation, and scaling. And then decompose. And we'll get into all these methods as we move on through the book. Interpolate. I mean, there's tons of methods that are now inherent to the Flash 10 player. Prepend rotation, prepend, prepend scale, prepend translation, and just tons of methods that you can use there. And you're probably asking yourself, well, wait a second, I've seen append and prepend. What's the difference between the two? Are they the same? Absolutely not. And the most important thing you need to realize is that prepend uh, means basically is to multiply on the right hand side, and append means to multiply on the left hand side, so it's order of operations. So matrix A times B is not the same as B times A, and many, many people in applications are using prepend. How do you know to use the difference? Well, test it out, play around with it, learn by experimentation. But specifically, we'll be using uh, prepend in this example that we're going to show you, and I'll show you the difference when you use append uh, as we move on in this application. Now the application we're going to be working with is very similar to an application written by Jun Chun of www.flashosophy.com. And so go ahead and do this uh, website and you can download the application. I'm going to open it up and show it to you and then we're going to muck it up. We're going to make some changes and describe this. Basically what we're going to do, we're going to prepend translation to create kind of a Star Wars scrolling text. Let's go ahead and take a look at his application real quick. I have it here in Flash. Now one of the things you should immediately recognize is when I bring this application is, is where's all the code? You're going to do something that's pretty cool here within what, about seven lines of code? Is this an animation engine in seven lines of code as opposed to 18 or 13? You bet. And basically what uh, June does is, uh, let me bring this up so you can see it. He creates a text box and he pastes a bunch of text in it and he turns it into a movie clip and then uh, he names that movie clip Scrolling Text. And pretty much what he's going to do is create a perspective projection. You've seen that already uh, when we're setting our centers for our vanishing point. And from that perspective projection, he's going to set a field of view. And we haven't discussed that very much, but we will a little bit. And then he's going to take this text box that he's created, and he's going to rotate it 30 degrees or minus 30 degrees and do an on inner frame. And each on inner frame, he's going to pre-pin translation. You don't want to A-pin. And we're going to show you the difference here in this application. You're going to prepend translation minus 7, which is going to cause the text to move up, but not just up, but across the screen in translation. Hey, let's take a look at it. And basically what's happening is he's prepending uh, translation to this particular uh, movie clip that holds all this text. And of course, balance is a key to all things, he says, and this is his philosophy of Flash. And one thing I want to notice is we're talking about cameras. And so you can think of this in another way. As opposed to translating the text forward, you can think that you're moving your camera backward and the text is remaining the same. Now we're going to show this uh, in a different way so it really makes sense to you uh, as we move on. But go ahead and let's make one final point. Let's go ahead and hit A pinned on here and show you that it's not the same thing. Matrix multiplication is not commutative. So let's control test. 
And now we put a pinned on there, we're not getting the behavior that we want. Actually, what happens is you can see the text is lifting up off the screen and not giving us that cool Star Wars effect. So you can see once again, a pin, pre pin, not the same. It's order of operations, and a times b is not equal to b times a. Well, next time we'll take a look at the application I wrote from this, and we'll see how the camera basically is moving through space by translating the objects forward and backwards.